Our offensive line is historically bad when it comes to pass protection. We cannot protect our quarterback. This is an in-depth look at the Bears' offensive line issues. Before I go into detail about how bad they've been in pass protection, I wanted to point out the thing that everyone seems to be missing when it comes to our offensive line. Everyone keeps saying our line is terrible and they suck. In pass protection, that has been very true. But in run blocking, they have been top 10 in the NFL for PFF and other advanced metrics. Our overall offensive EPA actually hasn't been bad, mostly due to Justin Fields and the running backs breaking off big gains. But this offense has still moved the ball effectively for the most part. But there is a clear weakness that every fan can see when watching the game. Our pass protection sucks. There's no other way to say it. But let's get into the advanced metrics. Justin has faced pressure on 42% of his dropbacks within two seconds. That means before he can even complete his three-step drop, he has pressure in his face nearly half the time he drops back to pass. And that's before he even completes his drop. This is the most that has ever been documented. It's important to note that pressures didn't start getting tracked until 2009, but in the last 14 years or more, no quarterback has faced as much pressure as Justin Fields has this season. Is it all on the offensive line? Does Justin Fields also hold the ball too long and take some sacks himself? Let's dig into that a bit. Let's go to the chart on the screen here. You can easily see that Fields has the highest pressure percentage but you can also see how much of that is on the quarterback. Currently, Fields is blamed for 22.2% of the pressures he's taken, and the offensive line is responsible for about 74% of the pressures. So pretty much three-fourths of the blame goes to the offensive line, and the rest is on Fields himself. The other interesting thing I want to show here is you can see that Mitch Trubisky is awful at this and giving up a ton of sacks this year. We can also see that Patrick Mahomes consistently takes the most sacks on himself, meaning he holds the ball too long all the time. Does that make him a bad quarterback? Clearly not. He needs that time and he uses his athletic ability to buy extra time to allow his guys to get open to make special plays. Justin Fields has a lot of that same ability. He's not Patrick Mahomes. That's not what I'm saying. But the narrative that he holds the ball a bit too long is overblown. The best quarterbacks in the league do that, but he does need to work on getting the ball out quicker or throwing it away when nothing is there. That should come with time. But back to the offensive line, we've established that they simply have not been good in pass protection. But they are good at run blocking. Let's dig deeper into the PFF grades so you can see exactly what I mean. According to PFF, Larry Borm and Tevin Jenkins have been our two most consistent offensive linemen by far. This is what I've seen most of the year on tape as well. I'm not a big PFF guy, but wanted to use this as a resource since Jonathan Wood tweeted it out. Meanwhile, Braxton Jones has been just as good as Tevin Jenkins versus the run and grades out as our second best run blocker. He, however, has struggled in pass protection. He hasn't struggled anywhere near as much as Lucas Patrick and Sam Mustafer have versus the pass, though. But neither guy has been garbage. Both grade out much better versus the run. Patrick and Mustafer's grades in pass protection are unacceptable. They are awful. Mustafer ranks as the worst pass blocking center in the entire league. What is saving him is he is currently the seventh best graded run blocking center. Right now, Lucas Patrick has graded out slightly worse than Musty has in pass protection. Now, I do have an asterisk for that. Lucas Patrick's grade wasn't nearly as bad as Mustafer's until he started playing left guard. He wasn't bad at right guard when rotating with Tev, but he's been awful at left guard. I'm hopeful he would play much better at center, but at this point, we need a change on the interior of the line. Braxton Jones hasn't been as bad as everyone seems to think. He's played left tackle, and he's been really good against the run, and he's been below average in pass protection. Not nearly as bad as Lucas Patrick or Sam Mustafer have done, though. I think we need some shuffling on the line, and we need to make at least one change to the starting lineup. 
I think we should come out of the break with Braxton Jones at left tackle, Michael Schofield at left guard, Lucas Patrick at center, Evan Jenkins at right guard, and Larry Borum at right tackle. At this point, I'm not sure Lucas Patrick is a huge upgrade over Mustafer. He hasn't played like it the last few weeks, but I still trust what I saw on tape from Patrick the last two years. I think he can be a solid center. I think the experiment of just moving him around, though, needs to stop. Michael Schofield got limited reps last week and graded out very well in, in pass protection. He also was the seventh highest graded guard in the NFL last year when it comes to pass protection. So we have a guy on the roster who is a major upgrade over what we have. Now, I want to make this point, though. Schofield graded well last year, but it doesn't mean he'll be an instant upgrade here. It's the same thing that's happening with Lucas Patrick. When you are a guy and you're just on a really good offensive line and you have stars around you, it's easy to blend in and grade out well. On a young line where players are struggling, I highly doubt Schofield would grade out as well as he did with the Chargers last year. I do believe he would provide an upgrade at left guard, though, and it's a move I would make immediately. Evan Jenkins and Larry Borum have been our two best offensive linemen. I would lock them in on the right side of the line. As far as Braxton Jones is concerned, he struggles in one aspect versus the bull rush. The problem is teams know that. So every team is sending their best bull rushers at Braxton and collapsing the pocket. This combined with Musty and Patrick getting ragdolled, and you see why Justin Fields is running for his life and facing record-breaking pressure numbers. I think Braxton Jones has a bright future. I don't think I would bench Braxton, but considering we do have Riley Reef, it might not hurt to see what he can do. That being said, I stand by that I would keep Braxton Jones as a starting left tackle for now. The changes that need to be made are at left guard and center. I honestly wouldn't be mad if we came back with Schofield and even Dieter starting. Patrick and Musty have played awful. It's worth seeing if Patrick can be better at center, but the bottom line is Michael Schofield needs a shot at left guard immediately. Then let Patrick play the position you brought him into play, center. This line will face major changes in the offseason. The unit we currently have would be a good line if all we did is run the ball. Unfortunately, this is a passing league, and pass protection has simply been awful. For that reason, I think we need to shake things up. Thanks for listening, guys. As always, hit that like button for me. Stay tuned. I have a ton more coming. And until next time, bear down.